Well, she researches the animal kingdom's masters of saving for rainy days. It's time for this week's Steam Sunday Profile. And KCAL 9 meteorologist Amber Lee introduces us to a biologist who calls herself a squirrel gazer. <laughs> cameras, cameras, and more cameras. Not what you might expect at a nature reserve, but in the crowd Amanda Robin hangs out with. Thievery is rampant. Thievery among squirrels. They do steal from each other. Amanda is an evolutionary biology researcher, also known as a squirrel gazer. Why study squirrels? They're in the unique cool kids club that humans are in and that they store food for the future. Amanda wants to understand how squirrels make complex decisions about what to eat now and what to save for the future. We headed out in the Toyota Mobile Weather Lab to see Amanda's lab at the UC Reserve in the San Bernardino National Forest. The squirrels do all sorts of really complex tasks. To prepare for winter, squirrels need to hide up to 10,000 nuts they gather during summer. Nuts without a shell need to be eaten right away. Nuts inside a shell can be buried and eaten months later. And that leads to a tough decision. They have to decide whether to save or spend. To figure out who saves and who spends, Amanda built solar-powered robotic feeders. When squirrels enter a feeder, they're photographed, weighed, and scanned. Part of this work is seeing if there are particular squirrels that are savers and particular squirrels that are spenders. She's also tracking the fascinating ways squirrels protect their nuts. One way is stuffing their mouths, running and burying them far from where they got them. Another one is put, burying the item somewhere risky, so a yard with a dog in it. A third strategy is called the fake out. When they know other squirrels are watching, they might decide to go through the burying process where they will dig a hole, looking like they're pushing something into the ground, but they are actually still holding the food item in their mouth. And this allows them to run away further. To build her feeders and do her research, Amanda has relied on all the STEAM disciplines. So science is definitely a really big part, and math is exactly how we're going to figure out what the data is telling us. No one is more surprised than Amanda that she now has a career that relies so heavily on math. I have struggled in school, so I went to community college for five years. I started there in seventh grade level math. But she found her passion and wound up getting her bachelor's from UC Berkeley and soon a PhD from UCLA. Something I realized, you don't have to be a natural at something to become successful in a field. But you do have to want answers. From there, it just takes a lot of persistence and determination. Amber Lee, KCAP 9 News. And for more on STEAM careers, visit us at kcal9.com slash STEAM.